Good day, everyone. I hope everyone is having a fantastic Sunday. So what has changed since our last stream? Well, uh, Ballers is now community owned, out of the hands of NFTG, Rare Labs, uh, whatever their new name is. Yeah, uh, Wilsley continues. It's gonna be fun to see where where this project can go now that it's community owned. We got a lot of good people. Um, yeah, yeah in, in investing time and money into it. But I hope everyone will be a little bit patient and we will do some some better communication that has been done previously. I think next week uh, there will be like more info released. We has been working on getting some stuff out. Anyway, uh, Wales League. If you're in the Wales League, you probably already know how how Wales League works. If you you're here for the first time, this is the Wales League. Um, if you own ten ballers. Uh, you can sign up for the Wales League, which just uh, started last week, our season 11. I don't know about the prizes currently. We have to talk about, like, well, will there be any prizes for season 11? Um, they have five divisions. Um, division 1 is the highest, it's the best division, like, for the best teams. Uh, and yeah, currently if you don't own then ballers, you can't sign up a, a, a team. But uh, I'm probably going to do a one v one v one tournament with with some like different tiers next week. Just gonna like figure out um, the format, but I, but I think it will be like you you can just everyone can sign up one baller and then. Um, based on your sim rating, you will be placed into tiers. Uh, we'll prob probably do something like um, 16 bowlers in one tier. So it would work out in, in a playoff structure. And probably get some prizes for it. At least I'm gonna put up some sneakers and I'll, I'll check if anyone else from the community is going to put up something yeah let's get into the wells league um I, I can't say too much about anything else that has been happening we're starting with division five and then we are slowly moving up to four three two one uh this stream is something we do once a week So if you happen to have 10 ballers um, and 10 pairs of sneakers NFTs, then you can sign up for the next season. Uh, when we get BBL, um, the, the sign up thing going again with, the, with everything transitioning from NFTG into the whales led. company then some things are, are offline like the BBL sim and the sign up thing at least currently yeah let's go um, we'll do one day worth of games in each of the divisions and then from Monday to Friday uh, we'll post the daily stats to the ballers discord seven games today in division five um, let's actually check out the standings first so we got five teams undefeated three of them have two wins two of them just one 
uh, with the most scraps my Psychonauts and pre Poopsie Brand Ballers. They are the teams that have two wins and no losses. Pink Posse and Black of Blow Joes, both with one win and no losses. And then we have one, two, three, four, five, six teams still looking for their first win. Maybe some of them will get it on this stream. Uh, Big Red Dogs, Jersey Boys, Delta Squad, Delta Squad. First time here in the Wales League. Shun Squad, Boogie, and Grand Prize winner. Still looking for their first win. Let's go. First game up. Jersey Boys going against Big Brooksy Brand Ballers. Brooksy at home, favored by two. Looking for their third win of the season. Close one. Ooh. CJ looking to ruin Brooks' perfect record right now. Yeah. And Jersey Boys get the win. 122 to 108. They are 1 and 1 on the season now. Big Brooks and Bapores 2 2 1. Best player in the game based on the game score. So we have Athletic City Alex on the Jersey Boys. 22 points. 11 rebounds, 12 assists, 1 steal, and 3 blocks. Nice triple double here for TJ, TJ's baller. 6 more games. Boogie going against Shun Squad. Shun Squad at home. Favored by 7. And one of those two teams will get their first win of the season. June squad will be getting the W here. 116 to 81 against Boogie Boogie. Three losses, no wins. Best game score base. Best game score in the game. Um, we got Captain Redbeard on the Shun squad. 28 points, 14 rebounds, 8 assists, and 5 blocks. 6 of 13 from Beyond Dark. Nice scoring effort there. Minja against Pink Posse coming out. Pink Posse at home. Favored by 1.5. Let's see if Pink Posse can get their second win of the season. Hey Dolo dude. Your team is Division 3. Will be coming up in like 20 minutes. Uh, Pink Posse gets their second win of the season 109 to 92. Best game score going to the losing side. Minja, 32 points from, from his shooting card. And also, one rebound, two assists, one steal, 14 of 23 shooting in the losing effort. Grand Prize winner going against LNC OG. LNC OG blowing out Grand Prize winner who has now three losses and no wins. LNC OG three wins, one loss. On the season best game score, Dave, the power forward on the NLC OG team. 32 points, 11 rebounds, 7 assists, and 2 steals. 11 off 22 shooting from the floor. Well, moving on. Uh, Kyle Rips against Flacco Flow Joes. Flacco Flow Joes. Will they keep their perfect record? They have only played. One game. Oh, I should actually change the title of the stream. 
it's not the tip off. We had the tip off on on Wednesday. Black Hole Flow Joe's get the win. 120 to 112. Let me just update this. Best game score on the losing side though. Slam and Sammy. Drops a triple double. 26 points, 13 rebounds, 16 assists, 2 steals, 3 blocks. He was everywhere. Unfortunately, his team couldn't secure the W here. Big Red Dogs going against Windmill Scraps. Windmill Scraps at home, favored by 12.5. Windmill Scraps. They're bound to win this one. 111 to 92 against Big Red Dogs. 3 and 0 is the record. The windmill scraps 0 2 for Big Red Dogs. A long season to go. Each team will play. Um, oh, actually, here. Uh, each team will play 17 games in Division 5 in all the other divisions. It's uh, 22 games, so yeah, Division 5 is a little bit larger, larger than. All the other ones, the other ones have 12 teams, this one has, since it's the lowest one, has 18. Flip flop with the best game score for windmill scraps, 23.7 rebound, 7 assists, 1 block, 8 of 11 from the floor. The last game here in Division 5 before we move on to Division 4. Thrift Defenders going against Delta Squad. Delta Squad at home, but Thrift Defenders favored by 4.5. See, maybe Delta Squad can secure their first win of the season. They could start. They started out like um, 9 to 1. But then Thrift got up. Delta Squad on top by 5 with 5 minutes remaining. They might do it. Yeah, 13 seconds, 4 point game. Durf didn't get there, but Delta Squad did. 98-93, congrats City of Dreams for your first win here. In the Wells League. Best game score going to Marcus. To power forward on Delta Squad, 29.7 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal. Their center was pretty good as well. 19 rebounds for him. So this will be the games with the box scores posted tomorrow. Let's quickly look at the standings before we move on to Division 4. We got Wilma Scraps currently on top. Three wins, no losses. The only team who has played three games and won three games. Um, Without any losses, Pink Posse, my Psychonauts and Black of Flow Joes, they are 2 and 0 on the season. And then we got three teams still looking for your first win. Uh, Big Red Dogs, Boogie and Grand Prize winner. Moving on, Division 4. Six games here, or 12 teams playing. Uh, let's look at the standings first. Big Brooksy Brand Followers currently on top. Three wins, no losses. Uh, Flose's size matters. Two wins, no losses. So the only two undefeated teams here. And then way at the bottom here, Bus City from Old EDB. Still looking for their first win. They have three losses. Let's see if they get it here. We've got to change up the bot messages. That link unfortunately does not. It's not the up to date at least. I'm not sure if it takes takes you anywhere. Here, everybody's going against Big Brooksy brand followers. This is our first game. Brooksy with the perfect record so far. Also at home and through by 8.5. Slow it down just a little bit. I'll be right back.
and I'm back. Okay, let's pick this one up. Ooh, it's a close one. He's at the end of the third. Cook's in trouble. Down by 12. With five minutes remaining. And. Cook's he does lose by 12. Getting his first loss of the season. Uh, 121 to 109. Everybody's got the win. Best game score going to. Push. Brents. Um, everybody's. 20 points, 2 rebounds, 1 assist, 4 steals, 9 of 11 from the floor. Oh, actually, let's do soft the bench. Missed this one completely. 18 points, 13 rebounds, 7 assists, 1 steal, 1 block, 5 of 8 from the floor. Moving on, size matters going against Hardwood Hacks. Hardwood Hacks at home, but size matters favored by 11. Size matters with the win 103 to 87. Size matters now. Three wins, no losses. The only undefeated team in Division 4 left. Uh, best game score going to losing side to Margie from Hardwood Hacks. 23 points, 17 rebounds, one steal, two steals, uh, one assist, and two steals. 10 of 15 shooting. Next up, Matthew going against the Atlanta BC. Atlanta had some, some nice. Uh, Upgrades this season. They are the strongest team, at least rating wise, this season in Division 4. Uh, Atlanta at home, favored by 9. Atlanta with the lead. Can they hold on to it? like they can maybe Oof. mad woman went on a run there at the end but atlanta gets the win 108 to 102 so a six point win atlanta now three wins one loss on the season best game score larry caruso for atlanta 15 points 15 rebounds one steal one block Crips are crushers going against Benz. Benz at home, favored by 1.5. Curb side crushers. Crushing Benz. By 17 points, 106 to 89 is the final score. Curves are crushers now, 2 and 2 on the season. Benz 1 and 2. Best game score going to Captain Cooper on the curves are crushers, stopping 20, 30 points, 10 rebounds, 12 of 18 shooting. Which is the windmills against Bus City? Bus City at home, even spread. If Bus City can get their first win of the season. Bus City, a two point win. The young class guy with a game winning basket. Just one second remaining in the game. He also has the best games for 29 points, 18 rebounds, 9 assists, almost a insane big triple double here. Also, let's have the three blocks there. Nice win for Bath City, both teams here. One and three on the season. And last game of Division 4. Nobody's going against Flow Post. Flow Post at home, favored by one. Getting weaker, 
so I smile to your face and pretend that I'm happy longing for your embrace low say gets your 109 299 Best game score, Silver Mamba on low post. It's way two points, nine rebounds, two assists, six steals, four blocks. Ooh. A defensive monster here. A defensive, uh, yeah, what a performance by Silver Mamba. Eight of 13 shooting as well. Pretty efficient there. And this is the schedule for tomorrow's games that will be posted to to the discord tomorrow alongside with box scores standings yeah size matters only undefeated team three wins no losses atlanta bc and pre poopsy brent Polars, both three wins and one loss and no teams without a win we got ben Ben Spa City, which the win was and Matthew all with one win on the season. And we are moving up to Division 3. Check out the standings. We have Win City Chammers and Lopez Ford. Currently on top. Three wins, no losses by both of them. Then we got Golden Arcs also undefeated. Uh, with two wins and then four teams still looking for a first win we got my commissioner's choice Marcus rebels in training and rebel rejects also looking for their first win and FG smoke show let's get to the schedule only four games here on the day for division three hey dollar dude you're playing against everybody uh, Rebel Rejects against Basket Towns is our first game here in Division 3 Basket Towns at home favorite by Scoring game, can they collect 90? No, you are playing, you are playing again uh, against uh, everybody's in a couple of games in like two minutes, three minutes. So, yeah, Basket Towns get the win here 87 to 79. Uh, best game score going to Green Pollard from Basket Towns. 12 points, 12 rebounds, 2 assists, 2 steals, 4 blocks. Nice all around game from Green Pollard. Oh, yeah. Um, I actually doubled it. Your game is just coming up now. So, everybody going against all those dudes. All those dudes at home. Um, Yeah, even spread. Everybody's one win and one loss on the season. Dolos dudes, two wins and two losses on the season. Let's see who will get the win here. So everybody's dropping from Division Two um, last season, and Dolos dudes moving up from Division Four. Everybody's crushing it in the fourth quarter. And unfortunately for you, Dolo Dude, you took the L. And C marks everybody. Gets to win 107 95. That's the final score. And best game score going to Sir Charles Sparkly. 19 points, 13 rebounds, 1 assist, 3 steals, 2 blocks for, for the everybody's baller. You'll get a redo maybe tomorrow because every team in divisions one two three four 
will play against each other team twice during the season, so 22 games in total, 12 teams in each of those divisions. I actually can't, I, I, I should, if I wanted to do that, I, I had to like load up the backup of, of the league. Yeah, next game, Golden Arcs going against Lopez for both teams undefeated. Lopez for <laughs> Kurt. Well, you, you'll get a full redo next season, at least. Uh, Lopez for getting um, getting to play at home and favored by thirteen point five. Fun fact: Lopez has four teams. So like four teams is. It's the max amount of teams you can have in the Wolves League. And this is the only team not in Division 1. But they are crushing Division 3 currently. Uh, 99 to 86. Uh, four wins, no losses for Lopez 4. Colorado's get their first loss. They are now 2 to 1 on the season. This game score going to the losing side. Nicole Jokic, the point guard for Golden Arcs. 22 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, and 1 steal. Okay, and last game here in Division 3 before we move up to Division 2. Rebels in training against FOG Smoke Show. One of those two teams will get their first win of the season. Smoke Show at home, favored by 14. Rebels in training, they have that weird, weird synergy thing where just everything just clicks for them. So they have the lowest rating out of every team in Division 3 and some that somehow they are just sticking around Division 3 every season. 108-87 is the final score, best game score going to, once again, the losing side. All in Quinn on the smoke show, 16 points, 4 rebounds, 2 assists and four steals let's look at the standings so two teams still undefeated lopez four with four wins win city champions with three wins and then we got at the bottom here commission's choice rebel rejects and fog smoke show still looking for their first win of the season let's move on to division two standings two wills teams on top Oh, by the way, Dolo, you, you could enter like three more teams in the Wells League if you wanted. You know, I know you have enough ballers for it. Maybe next season. Emperor Deem, only undefeated team here in Division 2. Three wins, no losses. And way at the bottom here, Mad Women's 18. Uh, looking for their first win. No wins and three losses for them. Check out the schedule, all 12 teams playing. So six games coming up. Holy Katana's going against Mad Woman. Holy Katana's booted from Division 1 last season. They lost a promotion game against Big Tickets, I think. Promotion re relegation game. Um, Mad Woman at home, but Holy Katana's favored by 5.5. Close game. Ooh, nice triple by Mad Alex on Mad Woman's team and this cuts the lead to one. Unfortunately, they fell. Clutch the dragon on the free two line. Makes the first one, makes the second one. We are back to a three point game. Mad Alex, another triple. Will it kill? Will it tie up the game? No, good. 
Shinobi misses a triple, so Matt Bowman still has a chance after a defensive rebound. We take a timeout. Madman with the triple. Let's see how has he shot so far. One of four. And that's no good. 1.9 seconds, who gets the rebound? Lady well, Goose with the defensive rebound, and yeah, this game is done. Two free throws by Shinobi Tyrant, and Holy Katanas get the win 121 to 116. So, Mad Woman still looking for their first win of the season. Lenny the Goose with the best game score 22 points, 9 rebounds, 4 assists, and 2 steals. And this one for Holy Katanas. Next up, Empire C going against Straight Snipers. Straight Snipers also um, booted from Division 1 from last season. They are at home here and favored by 5. Hey Ange, how are you doing? Great snipers. They get their second win of the season. 122 to 119. Two wins, one loss for them. And per C, two wins, two losses. Best game score. Going to Floham, the All Star. Great snipers, 30 points, 9 rebounds, 5 assists, 1 steal, 1 block. Yeah, I'm doing pretty well. Just had my basketball practice before the stream, and now just chilling and running some sim games. Uh, Soul Assassins against D Crocs. D Crocs favored by 6, they are at home. Rocks moved up from Division 3 from la last season. Um, they get the win here 104 to 100 against Soul Assassins. Uh, this game score on the losing side, though, did drop, drop with 18 points, 19 rebounds, 1 assist, 1 steal, and 4 blocks. 8 of 10 from the free throw line. Bookie Chevy B. Going against Cold Jays. Cold Jays at home, favored by 1.5. Oof, OT. Almost missed it. Cold Jays. Take it and OT 124 to 117. Uh, I, I think I know who gets the best game game score. Yeah, it's here, Jordan. 33 points, 13 rebounds, one assist, one steal, and one block from here, Jordan. One of the highest overall ballers in the collection. Oh yeah, since. Uh, since you're here, Ange, let me just take a look how your team is doing. Oh, your Pink Pasta team is doing pretty well in Division 1, 5, in case you're wondering. Two wins, no losses, and a pretty decent margin of victory. You have your, won your games by an average of 26 points. Let's get back to Division 2 now. Two more games here. Fires of the Metaverse. Going against Emperor D. First one of those two. Emperor D at home, favored by 4.5. Emperor D. Keeping their season perfect so far. Four wins, no losses. 
uh, first of the metaverse getting their third loss 129 1 to 116 is the final score and best game score of the game going to sofa king the former earth baller that well fought a couple of months ago 30 points one rebound two assists and two steals 12 of 16 shooting from the floor mango against alexis the other holders the other holders at home favored by 2.5 both teams looking for their second win of the season Mango is the one who gets their second win, 101 to 89. And best game score, Donny Lukacs, point guard for Mango. 20 points, 2 rebounds, 6 assists, 3 steals, 1 block, 7 of 11 from the floor. Let's check out the standings before we move up to Division 1. So like I mentioned, Emperor D still perfect for wins, no losses. Then we got two teams with 3 wins and 1 loss. We got Holy Katanas and Cold Jays. And then Mad Woman looking for her first win of the season. So, Division 1, the highest division of the Wales League, which has uh, three Lopez teams on it. Which is fitting because Lopez has an insane collection of high skilled ballers. Yeah, Lopez 1 and Imper B currently undefeated. Three wins and no losses for both of them. Interesting, interesting that Emperor B is doing better than the Emperor. So Wolves A team, one win and two losses. And then we got three wins, three teams still looking for their first win. Lopez 3, G League Rebels and Ballers of the Metaverse. Let's check out the schedule. So 10 teams playing on the day. Out of 12. First up, Emperor B going against Powers of the Metaverse. Powers of the Metaverse at home, favored by one. Emperor B with their first loss here and followers of the metaverse get their first win 114 to 94 a nice blowout win for bowlers of the metaverse as they are looking to to bounce back here after three losses and maybe go on a win streak Ali Oop on the bowlers of the metaverse team 25 points 18 rebounds one assist one steal and two blocks eight off 12 shooting from the floor Next up, it's Maki against Maki Wylands. Elite Rebels going against Chile Rebels. Chile Rebels at home, but Elite Rebels favored by 1.5. Oof. Bandit with the game winning triple with 16.2 seconds remaining and G-League Rebels get their first win of the season 105 to 104 so the first uh, monkey team gets the win here this one both teams one win on the season now this game score goes to Katana 36 points 4 rebounds 4 assists 2 steals on on the winning team Three more games left. Lopez won against the Empire. Oh. The number one and two team going against each other, at least rating wise. The Empire at home favored by three. Let's see if uh, they can give Lopez one their first loss of the season.
looks like it might happen nope we are tied just as i said it uh six minutes remaining in the fourth quarter 99 to 99 now the emperor goes on a on a scoring streak and to get the win 126 to 116 Best game score going to Britney Spears on the Emperor. So yeah, Emperor with the second win of the season. Lopez won with their first loss of the season. And Britney Spears scored 25 points at five rebounds. One assist, one steal, or of eight from Dion Dirk. Lopez three against the kid. The kid won last season. Against Lopez one in the finals. The kid at home here by 10.5 and the kid gets the win here 116 to 99 Lopez 3 in trouble, no wins, 3 losses. The K3 wins and 1 loss on the season best game score of the game. Kelly K, 25 points, 7 rebounds, 1 steal for the kids forward. Last game of the stream. Big tickets going against Atlas Pay. Atlas Pay at home, favored by 7.5. Both teams currently two wins and one loss on, of the, on the season. So one of them is going to get their third win here. Oof. No mercy from Atlas playing and face team. Yeah, almost a 30 point win. Winning by 29, 29 125. 296 to so Atlas Pay. Three wins, one loss. Three tickets, two wins, and two losses after this one. Wells, then MJ Pega with the best game score. Ooh, he was plus 35 in this one. 20 points, 9 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 steals, 2 blocks, 8 of 13 shooting. So let's check out the standings before we end the stream. Ooh, four teams four teams with the same record three wins one loss Emperor B Lopez one Atlas pay and the kid so it's gonna be another fun season everything open And Lopez Stream, the only team winless. No wins and three losses so far. At least Lopez 1 and 2 are doing pretty well. So, that is it from me. Thanks for watching. And, yeah. And next week, I'll figure out a, a 1v1 uh, format. And we'll run that. So... Keep your eyes open in the Discord for, for the sign up for that. It's probably going to be open for like a week or so. And yeah, next stream next Sunday. Thank you for watching and bye.